Okay, we have another pedigree here to work with, and this one is about cystic fibrosis, which is a recessive condition, fortunately. So we have a big C allele, which makes people produce normal mucus, and a lowercase c, which makes people produce thick mucus that's hard to clear and jams things up and causes digestive and respiratory problems. And if you are little c, little c, you have cystic fibrosis, like this person, and this person, and this person. So, working off of that, can we find genotypes for the rest of this family? Remember, we have two strategies. We can start from a kid and work up, or we can start from a parent and work down. Now, before we get into this, we want to fill in as much other information as we can, and all these people who do not have CF must have at least one copy of the normal allele. So I can put a big C on every one of these. We don't know who's a carrier yet, and there are probably a few in this family, but the fact that you are non-afflicted means you have one big C at least. Now, what else can we get? From this grandparent or great-grandparent, they only have little c's, meaning that's all they have to pass on. All of their kids get a little c from them, which means we have a carrier there, and we have a carrier there, guaranteed. Um, those are the only two children born of this great-grandmother, so that's all we can get from her. And from these children, we can't really work up to get the great-grandfather's genotype because they both have a big C. It must have come from him. Does he have two big Cs? Maybe. A lot of people would. Could he have a little C, and maybe his children were both lucky to just get the big C from him? Yeah, that's possible too. There's no real way to tell from just this. If he had had lots of children and none of them were affected, we'd be more convinced that he was big C, big C. But two kids not having it could just be luck. I don't feel comfortable filling in this space on the basis of just two kids. So I think that might be all we can get from this section. Uh, from here, we have a bunch of kind of don't know in the middle that's hard to work from. Let's see what we can get from working on the bottom. It's great to have these kids whose genotypes we know. We can get a lot of information from them. If they have two little C's, that means they got one from each of their parents, which means little c here, little c here. Um, this son could have told us the same thing, that there's a little c in each of those parents. Can we get anything else? This son is a big C because they're not affected. We don't know if they got two big Cs. That would be fortunate. Or if they got a little C, there's a good chance of that, and it would make them a carrier. This, this fellow is from outside the family and only had one kid, so it's hard to tell if they're big C, big C, or if they're a carrier who got lucky and passed on the normal allele. There really is not a lot more than we can lock down here, I'm afraid. The fact that this family here has had three kids in a row with nothing is interesting, but three is not enough kids to be sure about this parent. If they had had eight or ten kids and not a single one of them had CF, I'd be starting to think that this father was big C, big C, so that all of his kids were getting big C from him, and that's why they're all unaffected. But he could be a carrier, and they could just be getting lucky here. So I'm not, don't think we can fill that in. Don't think we can fill that in. He's from outside the family. We don't know anything. I think we're a little dead-ended here. Let's see what they want for... In the questions for this, they ask about individuals... Let's see. Generation 1, Individual 1. 
That's the great grandma. She's little c, little c, so that's no problem. They ask about generation one, individual two, who is the great grandma, grandpa, sorry. Big C blank is the best we can do for that one. Generation three one. Definitely is big C, little c. Big C because they don't have CF, but little c because their kids got it from them. Generation three, two is also big C, little c for the same reasons. Generation four, one is little c, little c. If you have cystic fibrosis, that's definitely your genotype. Generation four, two is her younger brother same situation and generation four individual three is their youngest brother who does not have CF big C but we do not know what his other allele is there's a fair chance that it's little c as you can see for doing a punnett square of these if you cross here I'll do this real fast just to give you more to think about if we cross these two parents big C, little c, cross big C, little c. The Punnett square looks like this. Now, for the younger brother here, individual 4, 3, we know that they don't have CF, so they are not this in the bottom right corner. They're one of the other three. So we could tell them there's a one in three chance that you're big C, big C, and you're totally fine, and your kids will be fine also. But there's a two in three chance that you are a carrier for cystic fibrosis. But, so we can't be totally sure about this one, but we can, we can at least give a probability, which is better than nothing.